yesterday, it was spring. No, 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 fall semester. <laughs> Waking up at seven o'clock in the morning thinking, hey, why did I register for this eight o'clock Spanish two class? So I brushed my teeth, threw on some sweats, and Jay walked across the entire campus just so I could make it to class on time. Speed walking through the building, trying to find the right room number, but not knowing what I actually find or would change my entire life. So as I bit into the doorway, so as I bit into the doorway, our visits touched. I mean, that half a second was so spellbinding that it caught me off guard. Because for some reason in your eyes, I seen my kids. I mean, I seen my groomsmen fixing up their tuxedos. I don't know, but for some reason, in just that half a second, I seen into the next 67 years of my life. Now, I know we're supposed to be here celebrating your birthday, but my African descendant queen, you are so sweet. That I must play a, that I must play a poetic dentist and fill in some holes with that reassurance that you love. He love you. <laughs> now, in the Bible, God created the world in just a short period of time. And Jesus did miracles with fish, bread. I mean, he even turned water into wine. But every time I read the Bible, it seems like I can't find the miracle he did that created you because you ought to find. I mean, I searched chapters, read verses, searched line after line. But he's perfect. So when he made you, I really think he took his time. Cause he did. Whoa. And wow, I mean, look at the results. When I, when I see you, I see a woman that will ride for her man. Even if the tires get flat on the road to my dreams and we have to get out and push my determination the rest of the way. I see a woman that will stand tall for her man. Even if we're walking bare feet through my mistakes that are sharp like broken bottle glasses. I see a woman that doesn't really need to wear makeup because, I mean, the makeup of your natural face makes up a woman of God. Something I place higher than a queen. You look better than every cover girl, dipped in cover girl on every cover girl magazine. Just know when you look yourself in the mirror. Just know when you look yourself in the mirror that you have a boyfriend that loves everything you hate about yourself. Now I can't lie. Uncle Timmy, I'm a pretty jealous guy. <laughs> but not the type of jealousy that was bottled up inside the devil. I'm talking a weird type of jealousy, you know, but kind of on that same level. Like, for example, like, did you know I'm jealous of every lipstick and lip gloss you own because, I mean, you get the press up against your lips on the daily more than I do. Like, when you're in the bathroom, I argue with the microphone and your telephone because... I mean, it gets to soak in your magnificent tone every time you speak on the phone. Magnificent. Like sometimes, I want to flush your eye contacts down the toilet because like when situations make your vision blurry, instead of eye contacts, I'd rather your eye contact me to help you see straight. And you know, speaking of eyes, and you know, speaking of eyes, that's why I can't take my eyes off you. Because when I do, you know, it starts killing me softly. Because you were my Shari Amor, and God placed a ribbon in the sky for our love at the expense of our allegiance. I mean, it costs no money. I mean, she's spiritual, ambitious, cooks, cleans, washes my clothes. I mean, my God, y'all, isn't she lovely? So my PYT, pretty young thing, let's stay together and live life off the wall until we grow old. Raising our boys to men one sweet day until death transpires the end of the road. You feel me? Y'all catch all that later. She get it up. Y'all catch all that later on the, on the rewind. I don't know, but it's something about the way you make me feel that gives me butterflies, so please, don't stop until you get enough. When you ask me how much of your love, hugs, and kisses can I handle, in my hype, I be hype, in my head, I be hype answering like, Psh, never too much. 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 <laughs> See, that right there just made me want to hold hands, look you in your eyes, and romance, pull you close. And slow dance to every one of those slow jams. <laughs> nah, but seriously though, but that's why I invited your family and my family. Because I understand that it's my job to make your family become my family. 
And for my family to become our family. And for our love to verge into the same echelon as, as Malcolm and Betty, as Martin and Coretta. Somebody had the nerve to ask me how long I planned on being with her. Forever. Days, months. I replied forever. So it's only right that I make this forever. Let me get the floor for a second, honestly. Let me get the floor for a second. Simone Black here, this is real. I'm not no young boy out here. I'm a grown man and I'm a grown man business. You understand? And I'm here to bolster you through this whole way. I've been thinking about you like my whole life, honestly. And I can think back as far as the seventh grade, thinking like, man, how am I gonna propose to my wife? I'm not knowing where she is, but it's you. Like, you are great. That's why I call you the GOAT, the greatest of all time. You know what I mean? Because you, you really complete. You are my other head. And I'm ready to take this to a world that's just made for us. And nobody else. Music Soul Child. <laughs> so, Simone Blackshear, my African descendant queen, my beautiful, aesthetically put together queen. Will you be my wife? Will you marry me? Oh. <laughs> 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 Production.